welcome all. Today we have just a very short uh, review today. Now, I like Lego as much as the next person does, but uh, what I like more is fake Lego. This one's the uh, superheroes version by Shi Ji Yi Gao. So obviously a very Aussie name, probably an Aussie company just around the corner. Glad that they're uh, producing our fake Lego for us. Uh, this one cost two dollars fifty at some random two dollar shop. So I'll probably be going to get a refund very soon after this. This particular one uh, has two models in it. I know, very lucky. We have looks like a uh, Loki. Uh, I don't know. Did they make? They made the uh, sort of these official Lego, didn't they? Hmm, I'm not sure. Anyway, it looks like a pretty good representation of what he would look like if he was Lego anyway. And the other one, if you can see, uh, looks like a Transformer, I think. Um, not sure, I mean, it says hero, then again it says superheroes, but Loki's not a hero, so I don't know what sort of uh, Transformer it is, Decepticon, Autobot, who knows. Um, just a bunch of uh, ripped off artwork, looks like it's from the uh, Lego, uh, what was it, Marvel Avengers? can't remember I think that's it yeah um, not a whole lot of information just some generic sort of warnings and things uh, for you to create superheroes hmm. alright well let's take a look at what we've got in this exciting bag of excitement ooh trading cards ooh that's exciting um, got two small little bags uh, and one random brick. Um, it might be a stand, it might not be. It's a bit odd that it's not in its own little bag, but I guess that would be too expensive. Um, at least these come in their own little resealable bags. So, once you're done with them, you can seal them up and never take them out again. Um, yeah, they, they don't actually have the same uh, connectors as Lego. They look more like uh, Mega Blocks sort of connectors. With the, uh, hmm. How about I take it out of the packaging and we can take a closer look, shall we? Hmm. Yeah. So much for uh, using the resealable bag. Oh, yes. Uh, well, they're definitely not Lego. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure if you've seen Mega Blocks, but they use these sort of uh, little clips to clip all the appendages on. Uh, very cheap feeling. Head doesn't move. Mm. Yeah, it's a fairly good, fairly good likeness of uh, of the head, I guess. Um, paint's fairly good. Uh, ooh, legs are very weird. They sort of uh, just yeah, they can sort of because they've got the weird little ball things mm. yeah uh, well and obviously he's got a little stump for his head to go on so let's put him together shall we oh doesn't really uh, clip on very well so um, I, I would recommend he wouldn't get into any vigorous activity lest he come apart in two um, ooh, let's see if we can get this Ugh. Just clip those on. Yeah. Ugh. Jesus. And of course, don't forget his little Lego Man arms. Oh, beautiful. That is... That is wonderful. Hmm. Let's see if we can get him to look like a normal... Well, I use the term human being loosely. He's got his Frankenstein look. Hmm. Uh, his accessories, one white looking rifle, I, you know, haven't seen the movie in a while, but I don't believe that uh, Loki uh, was into using very large inconvenient rifles, and the golden gun from uh, a James Bond film, so I guess he can one, one shot everyone, but uh, yeah, I guess that... Uh, his uh, gun goes in. Um, 
and the other gun sort of clips in. Mm. Now, can anyone tell me what is wrong with this figure apart from its inept cheapness? Trademark hat. They couldn't even fucking give us the fucking hat. Like, fuck. Ugh. It's fucking hell. And then we've got something that looks nothing at all like what's on the packaging. So, this could have been just as much a surprise bag or super anything. Random Lego man bag. What have we got here? Hmm. Looks like the same weapon. Slightly different weapon. Same cheap repainted legs. Uh, looks a little like Optimus Prime in swapped colours, maybe? Or a wrestling head? It's a wrestling guy? It could be anything. Got black arms which don't match with his uh, baby blue body. And really weird looking helmet. Hmm. Well, let's just put him together quickly and. Oh, that's a good start. His head doesn't even go into the helmet properly. Uh, put that in there. Use fucking... <coughs> Jesus. I won't need to work out after this. Uh, his arms. There we go. Um, a little different than what it looks like on the packaging. Um, uh, I particularly like how every part of his sort of body is a different colour. Like a little Egyptian spaceman helmet which doesn't really fit on. Does his weapons fit in? Sort of, not really. I guess he could scare them with his hideous paint style colourings. Mm. Now, we all want to know, how does the helmet look at our good friend, Loki? Hmm. Not sure if it's an improvement. <sighs> well, at least he came with all his parts. But what we really want to know is what's on these superhero cards. We have Superman. Yep, that's Superman. We have Aquaman, I think with a really bad emo haircut, but... Mm, Looks like they've got attack and defense, and looks like they've got the Yu-Gi-Oh! rarity symbols from the Yu-Gi-Oh! cards down there. Or Dragon Ball balls. Either one is possibly good. Ooh, and Elf. He looks suspiciously like uh, our good friend Legolas. Hmm. Yes. Well. Hmm. I guess he's not a superhero. Aquaman, Superman, thumbs up. Elf. And finally, our good friend, Batman. Ooh. Also, not a superhero. Hmm. Well, you know, I guess there's some sort of card game you can play with them, but with, of course, no rules. What can you do? Disappointing that they couldn't even include Loki's signature helmet. Um, yeah, so maybe I should go back and uh, get a refund. Hmm. I wonder if you can collect them all down there. Hmm. Anyway, load of crap. Won't get my money back because I ripped up all the cards. That's it.